Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today we're going to be doing a quick team building video for the base form STR Vegito. Uh, before we start, I wanted to say shout out to the Dokkan Battle Wiki and show, shout out to DokkanBattleBuilder.com. Uh, I will be using both of these sites for this information. Um, I also want to state that this card is completely underwhelming in terms of team building just because of how generic the link skills are and in terms of how many he shares with people. Uh, essentially, think of it like this. he the, the base form shares the same exact link skill set as this Intelligence Vegito. Uh, literally the same exact link skill set. So whatever you would link with this guy would be linked with this guy. And there's really not a lot who have this. On top of that, his base form, uh, his only attack buff is Brainiacs. And even when he gets his Doken Awakening, well, okay, I shouldn't say that. He also gets power bestowed by God, but that's only a 2,500 flat out boost. So... It's really not worth taking into consideration, but Brainiacs is his only, only attack buff. Attack and defense plus 10%. So in terms of trying to find the ideal team for him, unless you really, you know, are trying to build a team around him, there are there's not a lot of options for you. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to talk about his best linking buddies and a mono STR team. Just because um, with his with his link skills, the three most common link skills he has is Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, and Fused Fighter. And majority of these are already on uh, different teams when it comes to super teams, you know? Most of these guys, most of the, a lot of the really good units for a Heroes team, if you want to run a Heroes team, are Fused Fighters. So you can always run that. Prepared for Battle is a Saiyan link. Most Saiyans, newer Saiyans in the past, I'd say year, have prepared for battle. So if you're building a team, it's pretty common to have that on there. And Saiyan Warrior Race is one of those throwaway links that used to be kind of viable, but it's only a 700 flat out buff. If they increased that and made it like a 15% buff at some point, that would be awesome. But unfortunately, it's not. So it's kind of a throwaway link as well. So honestly, prepared for battle, Fuse Fighter are the only two decent links in my opinion. Uh, you could have a different opinion on that. Honestly, what makes this guy really great is his super attack, which has a Kaioken effect, which essentially means every time he super attacks, he just increases his attack and defense nonstop. It never stops increasing. Uh, the numbers, I believe, uh, let's see. When performing a super, Vegito raises his own attack and defense by 20% for the rest of the match. So he does 20% increase for every super attack. So if you were to, say, give him double attacks the entire time and he just kept on supering, getting lucky with additionals, doing supers, then he can possibly be doing, you know, a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, unfortunately, it just takes a while for him to get there. And his passive skill is kind of meh. Attack and defense plus 40%, at least at this time in the game. It is pretty decent, you know, because he does have a defense mechanic. But we really won't start seeing him shine until he Doken Awakens. Uh, but luckily for us, he does have his TUR variant on Doken Battle Builder. So we will be going over that form as well. Uh, mostly just because uh, he only gets one link skill added. Everything else stays the same. He just grabs a Shattering the Limit. Uh, his, his passive skill will go up to attack and defense plus 60%. Which is pretty good. Um, it's definitely a lot better than what it was. A lot of the older units had like attack plus 60, attack plus 70%. Those were considered hard-hitting units for back in the day. And for a TR that's about to go LR, uh, it's kind of worth it. Uh, his his attack and defense, I believe, is yeah, it still goes up by 20%. Otherwise, I believe it would have more in the detail section over here. 12 key multiplier of 140%. And if you do the max base dupe system, he has a 10,700 attack, 9,300 HP, and 6,800 defense. Uh, overall, he's a really decent unit. Um, uh, I think he will start to shine on longer events, and especially when he gets his LR form. Now, in terms of when I actually believe he's going to get released, because I've been asked that question a lot, I don't know, but I would guess either for Christmas, that would probably be something Bandai's going to do, gave us the 2B release to get everyone, you know, everyone get a little bit upset about it, but, you know, it's going to be more of a Christmas gift. Oh, okay, here you go. Now that you have Vegito, now you can go out and grind to get him to LR. That might be what they're trying to do. I don't know, though. It's just my guess. Um... But uh, overall, I think he's a pretty solid unit, and he's going to get better once he gets his Doken Awakening. Again, what really limits him in his SSR and TUR variants is the fact that he only has one percentage base attack buff. Um, and he doesn't really need the key because of the teams he's going to be running on. I mean, obviously, he wants you're going to want him to have prepared for battle. That's probably going to be a link that he that stays with him, especially if he used fighter. So he's always going to have that four key. But he doesn't need shattering the limit at this point in the game. Uh, even though they're giving him the Matara Doken Awakenings, that's probably why he has it. They, I wish they gave him an additional link skill that gave him an additional attack buff. With that being said, uh, one more thing I want to go over real quick with Brainiacs. There's not a lot of notable good units that you can run with the link skill Brainiacs. Uh, at some point, if he becomes a good leader, like maybe a uh, super type to HP attack and defense plus 70%, as opposed to his physical Vegito Blue with 
Um, I, LR pick loves to take note. Um, you do have the Baba Shop TUR Great Saiyaman. Uh, the Technique Paikuhan. The Intelligence Piccolo. This is the one that has the clone. A Doken Awakens. He's actually pretty, pretty decent when you, he Doken Awakens. Uh, I'll show you guys him real quick. Uh, the Master Roshi that's on the JP side. Uh, the Piccolo, who he when he Doken Awakens again, this is only a JP side, I believe. Um, either way, he gets attack and defense plus 80% when HP is 80% or below. So it sucks because you have to get that HP a little bit lower. But with the team with Vegito, you want that HP lower, a little bit lower. Because that's when he starts getting his key. And when he's in LR, that's definitely going to come into play. And make it a lot easier for you guys to super attack with him. But he does have Brainiacs if you're trying to base a team around Vegito and want him to hit harder. Again, it's not the most ideal thing to do, but you can do it, especially for fun. Uh, Jackie Chun, Supreme Damage, he's a World Tournament key uh, category, so he's not going to be the greatest, but attack and defense plus 70% of the start of the turn, and he can survive a knockout attack when HP is 20% or more. So he's also going to come into play when it comes to a Vegito team, because you're going to want to play with that lower um, HP. Again, it's only JP side as of right now, so you can't really do anything about that, but at some point um, when we do get him, he's going to be someone who you want to consider running on the team. Because if your HP is lower, you're going to want Master Roshi to take those brutal attacks. Because at least at that point, he can survive the knockout and allow you to go on to the next turn. Again, it's one of those situations where it hasn't fallen perfectly. But it kind of works into the team if you think about how the team is going to be built. Um, outside of that, there's really not that many other notable units that have Brainiacs. Uh, Whis does. He's a good healer. Uh, he's definitely going to be someone you can consider when building a hero because he allows for longer viability, comes really handy and handle uh, comes in really handy during boss rush. Um, I know I already spoke about Paikuhan, uh, Super Paikuhan, which we don't have. He may be coming to the global side again. I did a speculation video on that, um, and Weirus. So outside of that, there's really not a lot of guys with Brainiacs. Hopefully, when he gets his Doken Awakening to LR, he gets more link skills. Uh, anyway, this is supposed to be a team building video, so let's go ahead and jump more into the uh, different teams that he can build. But you can build with him. So his base form, his best linking buddies are the only two <laughs> Vegitos in game. Um, at least the ones that transcend the base form. So he has Vegito Blue and Super Vegito. Um, notably, of, as always, with the Vegitos, he has Prepared for Battle Fuse Fighter, Power Bestowed by God. For both of these, that's who he links the best with. Now, that kind of stinks because, you know, it's really not doing that much. It's just giving him key and a flat out buff. But those are the best linking buddies he does have in game. Um, if you want to look for that, I'm actually going to go over here real quick. I'm just going to zoom in so that way you can see the graph a little bit better. Uh, so when I'm going over them, there we go. Uh, so, I mean, you could do whatever you want with them. This is more if you're running a Vegito team. Uh, I don't know if you're going to want to do it like this, but you can go this route if you want to, if you don't have any other units. Uh, they do link very well with him. So since he doesn't have a Doken Awakening at this point in time, right now, currently, this is who he's going to link the best with. Uh, he may get his Doken Awakening soon. He may get it before Christmas. He may get it in a couple days, and then on Christmas they release the LR, or they'll release the TUR way on Christmas, and then on New Year's they'll release the LR. Who knows? I, no one really knows at this point in the game. It's just speculation. But this is who he links best with. When he Doken Awakens, that definitely changes because that Shattering the Limit helps him out a lot. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single one of these units, uh, but notably the Bardock, the Support Gohan, the Buff Ku card, uh, obviously the Vegito card because he does uh, have the same exact link skill set as before. The other Super Vegito that's up over here. Um, you have a couple other units in here, a couple of fused fighters, a couple of other old units that don't really get a lot of no uh, that aren't really that notable. But he's he links a lot very well with them. Uh, just to narrow it down in terms of a mono strength team, because as of, as of right now, this is probably what you're going to run. Uh, just because, and I'm going to say this uh, honestly, if you have the base tech form Vegito for a super team. Uh, between him and the tech form, you're probably going to want to run the tech form just because he gives everyone that uh, attack and defense buff. Uh, but that's just my opinion on the matter. That's who I would run. Uh, if you don't, he will be pretty decent. But in terms, so you can always go back over here, Dokkan Battle Builder, and take a look at all the super units that he links for three or more for. He only links for three link skills total. So most of them are either Saiyan Warrior Race. Prepared for Battle or Fused Fighter, and a couple of them have Shattering the Limit. Again, we don't have the Dokun form yet, but when we do, that's all he has, and it's still not Attack Buff, so Brainiacs is the one that he doesn't share that many with. Um, Barlot and the Old School Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, they are both decent units. They are probably, uh, I want to say, like, Barlot is definitely an A-tier unit. He would be one of the primary ones you want to sub if you have him, as long as you have a TUR. 
Vixie does hit pretty hard. Vegeta kind of fell from A tier to B tier, in my opinion, just because he was good back in his prime, back in the day. He was decent unit. Um, his passive skill is attack plus 70% when he is 6 or more, so, he's, so his passive is always going off. At 70% attack buff is always nice, and he has a really nice generic uh, Saiyan Link skill set, which is really, really needed. Unfortunately, he didn't get prepared for, uh, yeah, he didn't get a uh, fierce battle, I'm sorry about that. So that kind of takes away a little bit from him, and his stats are a little bit older. So it definitely doesn't help him out too much. If you if he's only one of the few ones that you actually have, then it's definitely gonna be worth it. He shares three link skills when they are it's four key and seven hundred attack buff. And for the bar lot, it's the same thing, four key and seven hundred attack buff. So either of these guys would be good for a mono strength team to run with him. And when we're gonna talk about a mono strength team, so again, I've done mono strength teams a lot in the past. This is just kind of the spider web of who you can run now. I didn't put everyone in here because the strength the strength team, so many of these guys, they all link so well with each other. I thought there's so many others in here I could have thrown in here. Like Beerus is a decent card. Godku is definitely a really good card. Um, the Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta. A lot of these guys are really good. Unfortunately, I can't, I'm not going to put them all into one video because then they will get way too long. I'm already at the 11 minute mark. So... Um, obviously your staples are going to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. You always want them together. Idealistically, you're going to want Kabla and Bardock. You can also have the World Tournament Gohan if you got him and this Trunks over here. They are both really good units for support. But these two are going to be your primaries and then it's going to be these two. Um, outside of that, you have your other Super Saiyan 4 Goku friend. You want him on primary rotation because he's going to be hitting the hardest. Now, this is where it kind of gets awkward because it's like, okay, you already have everything, so if you're trying to build around Super Vegeta, you're going to throw him in here. Problem is, he only shares one link skill with Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and that is prepared for battle for two keys, so it's not like he's going to be getting off a lot, and this Goku's definitely going to suffer for it because he shares link skills with other people that are going to allow him to hit off even more uh, attack buffs, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's really up to you. I mean, right now, the ideal unit to run is the Super Gogeta, and he only gets a Super Saiyan buff from him. Oh, and Fierce Battle, so it's a 20% attack buff, and that's still a 20% attack buff. And Gogeta's really good, but if you don't have him, you would want to say consider running this Vegito. But, I mean, Gohan over here has Fierce Battle. Let's see if I can get this set up right. So he has Super Saiyan, he has Kamehameha at Prepared for Battle, and he has Fierce Battle which he links with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So honestly, for more damage output, you're going to probably want to run the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But for going all that information, assuming you don't have most of these units, Vegito can run decently on this team, though he's not going to be a primary. And that's why I'm, I'm saying right now he's not really the most u useful unit in-game. Can he hit very hard? Yes, of course. But when you say something like that, well, then the Barlock can also hit really hard, you know? A lot of these units that have that Kaioken mechanic or have that nuking passive mechanic can potentially hit very hard if, as long as you want to build your team around it. Um, the other thing to make, make note of is because he is a fused fighter, you're probably going to want to link him with a fused fighter. Uh, again, that's going to essentially mean you're going to take one of the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus off your primary rotation if that's something you're thinking of doing. I mean, you can do that if you want to. I'm not saying it's going to be the best idea. Uh, but let's say you're in the situation where you want to run a full strength team and you don't have Super Saiyan 4 Goku so you throw a Mega Shenron up in there uh, for a leader and you want him off rotation uh, and that's just in a, in a situation that some people may run into yes he won't get all the buffs from the Super Saiyan 4 Goku friend but it's still something you can do or if you bring the Baba Shop I forgot off the top of my head who the Baba Shop one was but regardless of that um, oh it's the Roshi so you can throw Roshi on there for the HP attack and defense plus 70% and he will get the buff from Super Saiyan 4 Goku regardless you're not going to want him to be your primary um, you're going to want to link him with a Fused Fighter, which would be either Gogeta, Gotenks, or this Gotenks. Those are going to be your three primary units you can run with him linking right next to him. Now, they all share the same thing, Prepared for Battle and Saiyan Warrior Race, or sorry, uh, Fused Fighter, Saiyan Warrior Race. And this is Prepared for Battle, Fused Fighter, and this is Prepared for Battle, Fused Fighter. So the only one that gives him the attack buff is the base form Gotenks, um, and honestly... It's only 700, so it doesn't really matter. I would probably go with uh, Super Saiyan Gotenks just because he gets 4 key <clears throat> instead of the 2 key and 700 attack buff. But that's up to you again on how you want to run it. Um, that Super Saiyan Gotenks, well, the base form Gotenks will give you uh, the attack plus 100 as he, if he is the first attacker in turn. So you would want to do something like this and have him over here like that. The other Gotenks, here you are, this is what I was looking for. 
attack was 80% when facing one enemy. So you could have him on either side. So because this Vegito is a, also a defender, if you don't want to do that, just straight out attack, uh, attack buff for 100. <clears throat> you can throw this in here. So that way you can move your Vegito uh, ahead of him or after him on turn, depending on who's getting attacked the most. So that way he can defend. But as of right now, guys, I don't think he is the most viable unit. We will have to wait for his LR form to get released before we can actually make a team building video on that LR uh, for the LR team building guide. And we'll actually know more about the card because a lot of things are going to change. Chances are he's going to have Super Saiyan. Chances are he's going to have Over in a Flash. <clears throat> he's probably going to have Fierce Battle. We don't know yet, but he could have uh, Fierce Battle. Uh, if not, he'll just keep shattering the limit. But we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me today for today's video. Please let me know if that was helpful. Please let me know if you think I left anything out. But I'll catch you guys later. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And have a great day. Peace.